My name is Robert of Stearns Music. We're going to visit our vault. Please follow me. started, I lived in Africa, I love the music, so we started a shop and a label specializing in African music. We actually occupied the whole building when we had a record store, a label, a distribution company, a publishing company, so all that finished when we closed the store and we had to, to downsize following, you know, what was happening in the record industry started concentrating much more on digital and on publishing. I kept the vault somehow. I managed to keep the vault somehow. All our archive, all our master tapes, and a lot of stock is, is still here, and it's safe. But our main claim to fame is, is Africa. That's who we've worked with. We work with certain, we don't necessarily produce a lot of albums ourselves. We work with certain African producers, like we have a long standing relationship with a, a producer called Ibrahim Asila, Asila Productions. It's a label in France. There's a lot of, lot of material here which, which covers the history of African music for a long period, for the last 35 years. I had a lot of other material, but that's uh, like 78s, but I've given them to the, the National Sound Archive who, you know, put them in their, they, they, they digitize them and, and put them in their archive. Oh yeah, there's some leftovers of, uh, of uh, you know, like this Nigerian pressings, which uh, we used to import ourselves from Nigeria, you know. They're brand new, they've never been played. How well they will play remains to be seen, you know, because sometimes the quality of the pressing wasn't really, really up to scratch. You know, here's another one which is probably quite rare. This is uh, fellas mom on the on the on the back of the of the album after the attack on the fellas compound the calicuta republic and the, these are just the the original copper masters from which the lp is uh, is pressed so uh, I've, i always try to get them back from the factory once we stop pressing don't know why uh, it looks good and maybe one day we will press again from it you know so it's, it's worth keeping for the moment. All quarter inch master tapes going back till the mid 60s, until right into the 80s. It's all East African music. It's probably 30% of the output during that period of what was recorded in Kenya and Tanzania. It belongs to a label called AI Records, who still exist in a way, although they're not really putting out much anymore and we're just uh, digitizing it all to put it out online eventually. Occasionally we release it physically as well or on LP. That's what we keep ourselves busy with. Yeah. 